Nearly every home in the metro has one, but the devices used to track your electricity could suddenly catch fire and put you and your family at risk. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock uncovered the possible hidden danger and went to get answers from KCPNL. Kansas City Power and Light is at the tail end of a two and a half year project to install more than 700,000 smart meters across the metro, like this one. It's a small part of the billions of dollars utilities have invested across the U.S. in smart meters. But there are serious concerns one Kansas City man experienced firsthand. The burn marks are visible on Waverly Gulper's Kansas City home. Here's what's left of the smart meter where the July fire started. These pictures show what his house looked like after the fire. Galbraith wasn't home when it started. I got a call from a neighbor that said my, and he said my house was on fire. But when I arrived, I found out that the meter had exploded. A Kansas City Power and Light spokeswoman says the utility is investigating the fire, but she says this type of issue is rare in this area. KCPNL Vice President Chuck Casely's statement says, in part, out of more than 700,000 meters KCPNL has installed, we are only aware of a handful of meter malfunctions. There are multiple smart meter makers and different models. The company KCPNL uses has had past issues in other places. Despite few problems here, hundreds of thousands of smart meters have been recalled in the last several years across North America. And hundreds of fires have broken out, including in California, Texas, Florida, Nevada, Illinois, and across Canada. It really is a very dangerous issue and should be treated as a real unprecedented emergency in your area. Professor Curtis Bennett is in an ongoing Canadian legal battle over smart meters. Bennett sent us these thermal images showing a dangerous meter connection running too hot in a normal one. Now you've got this plastic a piece of junk on their property, and that's actually what's burning inside that meter base with the wires. But Casely says KCPNL has had a total of six problems out of more than 700,000 meters. The utility has returned a couple meters which have overheated to their supplier. California insurance adjuster Norman Lamb currently has seven open smart meter fire claims. Of the dozens of smart meter fires he's investigated, he says overheating is the major issue. Sparking. Um, and they are manufacturing too much heat. Why would America's utilities spend billions of dollars to install smart meters? The old ones with the dials called analog meters only recorded electricity usage. Smart meters transmit your usage information to the power company. Canadian Brian Thiessen has spent hundreds of hours over five years researching smart meters. He's produced a video. These fires are going to continue to happen because, again, the basic laws of electricity are being violated. But KCPNL statement says at this point we have found nothing that leads us to believe there is a problem or safety issue with the new meters. Galbraith has a different take. He was without power for over a month after his home smart meter fire. He says he's lucky the wood shingled home didn't go up in flames. Should homeowners be concerned in your judgment? I think so. I really do. KCPNL tells us the type of smart meters they're using have not been recalled. The statement goes on to say most house fires are caused by factors other than meters, including old and faulty wiring. Professor Bennett tells us a large part of the smart meter fire problem is connections to old bases and faulty wiring. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Now, if this has sparked your attention or concern, the best way to check if there's a problem with your meter is to feel it at the end of the day when it's cool. If it's hot to the touch, call your utility company.